Here's a summary. Consider the function f of x equals a times x minus h squared. The axis of symmetry at f is the line x equals h. The vertex is the point h comma zero. If a is greater than zero, then the vertex h comma zero is a minimum point. If a is less than zero, the vertex h comma zero is a maximum point. The graph of the parabola in vertex form, f of x equals a times x minus h squared plus k. So now we've added this k here. In this diagram, a is greater than zero because it's an upward facing parabola. h is less than zero because the axis of symmetry is negative, so it's to the left of the y-axis. And k is less than zero because we vertically moved down from the x-axis to down here. K is going to be the y component of your vertex. In this diagram, a is less than zero since it's an upside down parabola. h is greater than zero because we've moved right from the origin. This is at a positive value of x. And k is greater than zero because we've moved, the vertex is up above the x-axis. It has a positive y value. Exercise. Consider the graph of the parabola f of x equals 2 times x minus 3 squared plus 5. Determine the y-intercept and its mirror point. All right, the y-intercept will be when x equals 0. So if we take our equation 2 times x minus 3 squared plus 5 and we make x 0, that would give us negative 3 squared, which is 9, times 2, which is 18, plus 5, which is 23. So the y-intercept will be at 0, 23. It's mirror point. All right, so let's, we're going to need to think of the axis of symmetry here. So we have a parabola that, that looks something like this. It's going to be at the axis of symmetry is at x equals 3. And we go up to unit 5, and this is going to be our minimum. And the, the parabola is going to look something like that. So if our y-intercept is at 0, 23, which is way up here, but for the sake of this diagram, I'll just draw it right there. We have the axis of symmetry, and this distance between here and here is 3, since that's the x value of this point here. So if we go to the other side of the axis of symmetry and draw our mirror point, this would be also a distance of 3 away, which means this total distance is 6. So if we take our y-intercept and then add 6 to the x-coordinate, we'll end up at our mirror point. So the mirror point would be at 6, 23. Here we have the y-intercept is when x equals 0. So we plug 0 in and we got 23. The y-intercept is at 0, 23. The mirror point is at 6, 23. So all we had to do was figure out the axis of symmetry which was 3, and then double it to get 6. Now let's determine the y-intercept and its mirror point in terms of a, h, and k. So here, we know the x-coordinate of this point is 0, and the y-coordinate is going to be f of 0. So when we plug 0 in here, what value do we get at the end is our y-intercept. So that is 0, comma, f of 0. Over here, so we have... 2h as our x-coordinate, because remember this distance here is h, since that's the x-coordinate, so this point here is h, so this distance is h, which means to the mirror point we would double it, so there'd be another h. So 2h is going to be our x-coordinate. In this case that would be negative, since we're to the left of the y-axis, but the y coordinate is going to be the same as for the y-intercept because we haven't moved up or down at all. So that's still f of 0. And there we go. To graph f of x equals a times x minus h squared plus k, step 1, find the axis of symmetry, which is where x equals h. Step 2, find the vertex. So plug h into the function and find out what k is. Or if your function's written like this, that's easy enough to do. You just have k right there. So h comma k is our vertex. Step three, the y-intercept. If you plug zero into the function for x, then you solve and we get f of zero. 
and that will give us this point right here. Then we just mirror it across because all we have to do is figure out 2h. So you take h, multiply it by 2, that will be the x coordinate of this point, and the y coordinate will be the same as the y intercept. Then finally, just connect the dots. g of x equals x plus 2 squared plus 1. Sketch the graph step by step. Step 1, axis of symmetry. So that's going to be when x equals h. In this case, remember we have x minus h as our, uh, as our form squared. So h is going to be whatever this is but the opposite sign because this is actually x minus negative 2. h is negative 2. So the axis of symmetry is at x equals negative 2. So that is a dotted line that goes right down there. Step 2. Find the vertex. So to find the vertex, we would plug negative 2 in here. So g of negative 2 gives us negative 2 plus 2 squared plus 1. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0, so this whole piece here goes to 0, and we're left with 1. So negative 2 comma 1 is our vertex. The faster way to do this is to just look at this piece here, which is k. So this is our h comma k point, which in this case is negative 2 comma 1. Step 3 is the y-intercept. So what we want to do to find the y-intercept is plug in 0 for x, because when x is 0, we'll see what the y-intercept will be. In this case, that would be 2 squared, which is 4, plus 1, which is 5. So 0 comma 5. So here is our y-intercept. Step four is to mirror the y-intercept. So here we see the y-intercept, two units to, to get to the axis of symmetry, so we count two units on the other side and draw our mirror point. Another way to think about this is 2h. So this is going to be 2h as our x-coordinate, and then the y-coordinate is going to be f of 0, which is um, 5. So 2h, if h is negative 2, 2h would be negative 4. So we see that point is at negative 4, comma 5. Step 5 is to connect the dots. So our parabola looks something like this. I'm not very good at drawing parabolas, but something like that. Here is a much nicer drawing of the parabola.